The root cellar is going to be just over here. We're going to go out and mark out the garden. We figure what an 80 by 80. Well, today is a very exciting day. We got a call that there's some cows for sale, some little baby heifers. We're gonna go look at them and maybe we're gonna buy a cow for this year. We don't have a fence built yet, but we're working on it. And we are gonna have our first farm animal on our farm here. We are so excited. We're gonna have a cow. Oh, they are adorable. <laughs> Scratches. Look at the baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple smaller ones. Look at this. <laughs> this black wire is probably hot. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to lick my hand. <laughs> Oh, look at them all. They're coming out. They think we got treats. <laughs> People. They say they're supposed to be more friendly. Yeah. I just saying. love their... Look at their fur. Hello, guys. They want to say hello. He's got cool eyes. <laughs> Lick for a sniff <laughs> after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How excited are you? I'm pretty darn excited. <laughs> I kind of thought our first animal on the farm would be a chicken. I thought our first animal would be a chicken too, <laughs> but I think it's going to end up being one of these. When we first decided that we were going to live this kind of lifestyle and have a farmstead, it was my goal that every animal we brought onto the farm would have a job. And so when we had a fully forested lot, we needed to find an animal that would help us to clear it. And after much research, I decided I wanted a Highland cow. These magnificent beasts can get up to 12 to 1300 pounds, the bulls up to 1800 pounds, and they can live up to 20 years, about four to five feet tall. But the really cool thing about them is they hail from Scotland. I love anything from Scotland. But these cows, they are cold hardy. They're uh, used to strong winds and a wet climate. And one of the most interesting features about the Highland cow is that they are browse eaters, kind of like goats. They're really good for clearing forests. They love to eat the brush, uh, the low lying branches from trees. And I wanted to harness that to open up more space in the forest for grass. Yeah, which one do you live? Oh, oh sorry, we're a completely different cow oh. there. <laughs> when I said that. So the plan was, along with our neighbors, we would buy two small heifers. But as it turned out, the seller actually had a bull, a young bull, ready for sale. And I just could not turn down that opportunity. She's the one that's following you, though. I think she likes you. And then this guy, this is our, this is our bull. He's a purebred Highland. Look at his hair. How old is he? He's actually getting close to two. Two years old. But he, he said he's going to start getting really bulk out. Because he looks pretty small. Going that way, it's like, it's like, adorable. After excitedly putting our deposit down on the heifer and the two year old bull, we drove home. We had so much to think about. We'll be at work. 
It was time to get schooled by Greg Judy. We had a lot to learn about raising cows. Even more so than what we've already learned over the past year. But with some previous experience and some great mentors, we felt that we were ready to take on this challenge. With the deposit down, we had some time before we could get the temporary fence up for our brand new first animals to the farmstead. Nice little winter bonfire. February had some really nice weather, so all the snow disappeared and it allowed us to get out and start working on the temporary cow pen. Morning, I brought Hudson out with me into the goat run area that I'm adding to. He's getting into the face, tripping over stuff. Alright, so today is step one to uh, clearing our first temporary cow pen. We're getting three Highland cows in just a matter of weeks and we need to make a temporary fencing for them. So this is the closest little piece here. It's probably about half an acre. We're going to start from some trees, some insulators for electric wire. It's going to be a corner and almost a straight shot down this way. So we spent the morning clearing all this out. So between a chainsaw, some good clippers, and a good neighbor, you'd be surprised how much you can get done. We're going to use every solid tree that we can for the fence line, put some insulators in them so that we can run the line through it, and hopefully it'll be a nice solid fence. Still a couple areas we can clean up, but it's a good start. It's almost done. Oh, just slipped. So slippery. One, two. <laughs> I walked into an old spider web first. Oh, That's sure what happened. <laughs> and then I slipped and fell. We do have to figure out what we're going to do with this beast. The winds out here can be a little treacherous and some of the trees don't make it. Ooh, look at this burrow. Yeah, that's, that's not so much the burrow, is it the root? All the ferns underneath the snow. That's the corner post there? One of them. I love the mist. So like we were saying before, the Highland cows, they browse forest just like a goat would or a sheep. And so they will actually work on clearing the forest and they'll be able to eat all the little underbrush and vegetation. So less cost for hay and we'll be able to follow them when we rotate them through the different areas and be able to clear some of the trees, creating more open areas and more pasture in the future. So you figure it's how much uh, a quarter acre? Or? Yeah, probably in between a quarter and half an acre. It looks a lot more open in here. Yeah, you can have to walk through here now. Well, most people, maybe not you. <laughs> I am a little clumsy. The other side of that big tree that's just stuck, it partially came down, but it's like stuck on the couple of other trees there. And then there's a bunch of trees like this that just have black rot. Pull those down with the chainsaw. It's a bunch of them, hey? Yeah. About three or four of them. I think that's what happens to birch. Once they get a certain age, they just start rotting. You probably put two strands. We'll do one at about this height, and then one at this height, all the way around. Because they're trained to a single strand right now, right? Yeah, they're trained to a single strand over page wire. 
But out in the field, they're trained to a two strand. So this tree here, the next corner, and then straight out. Then we'll figure out where um, Dad's gonna set up his cabin. Yeah. It's not really raining, it's like misting. Yeah. But the mist is like gathering on the trees and it rain it feels like This is our apple tree that we made a little guild around. And the strawberries look like they've survived. They look pretty good. There's a whole bunch. There's probably like 10 in there. We have yet to see if the raspberries made it, but we'll see soon. We got no power. Well, great. We got no power. Perfect. It was just spring, just a day ago. All of a sudden it's winter again. If you would have made it through the driveway. That was in eight hours. Yeah. How do you like our second winter, honey? Callie likes it. Should have moved to Florida. <laughs> Gotta get out here and clear out some snow. All this came in one night, like eight to ten hours, and it's like almost a foot. Cali Angel. <laughs> Such a sunny day out. She, she should know. <laughs> Come on, Fat. Ben's watching. It's flat somersault. Oh, oh she, she did it. Did you get her? <laughs> but where did she go? <laughs> she <laughs> She's in the snow somewhere. Loki! There she is. There she is. Good kitty. Another winter storm.
Okay, so today our job is to paint this wall all the way to the end by the washer dryer. And it's gonna be the same color as the other side. It's hard to tell, but it's kind of like a light green. Oh yes. Winter has its beauty, but we are itching to get outside and start working on our big projects we got. We have so many plans and we can't wait to get started. See that little bobbing as they chirp at each other? What is that body language? It's hilarious. We're out here clearing so we can install the electric fencing eventually. Wanna go see our cows? Yes! Gotta go for a ride. Ready? <laughs> 